I think only children genuinely are singular in the sense that they've got no one to compare themselves with. You can't look at your siblings and see um, how you resemble them. You can't recognize traits in yourself in anyone else. At least initially that's how it was for me as a child. And also, of course, only children have a terrible reputation and a terrible kind of image problem as being spoilt and indulged. But I think one of the most defining things about being an only child is that you do spend a lot of time on your own. Sometimes that means that you can be quite lonely, but it also means that you develop a kind of resilience and self-sufficiency and an independence where you become very used to just going it alone. You know, we talk a lot these days about decluttering wardrobes, etc. I wanted to declutter psychologically. I wanted to let go of things that I've been carrying around that are painful, that I felt a degree of either anger or sadness or even shame about. I just want to travel light now. I want to let go of that stuff. And at the same time, I want to share things that matter because I think you don't write memoir to be liked, but I think you do write memoir to be understood, and also you're seeking connection. You hope that out there in Readerland, there are going to be people who relate to your story and say, that happened to me too. There are some parts of the book that were really sad to write. Um, both my parents had tragic experiences, very different tragic experiences that shaped them. My father's tragedy was tied up with World War II. My mother's tragedy is a completely different one. Um, telling those stories was very difficult. In particular, telling my mother's story was difficult because she's still alive. And so I had to ask myself some big ethical questions about how much of her story it was my right to tell. Well, it depends who you ask. Um, my friends often tease me about being rather blunt. And so in a way, I've tried to apply that bluntness to the book. I've tried to be as brutally honest um, with myself, as I generally am with my friends. Um, so in a sense, you could say that being honest is my natural default position, whether it's appropriate or not. But I think um, I have set myself a challenge with this book. I have tried to be as rigorous and as ruthlessly honest as I want other memoirists to be when I'm reading them. The books that I love the memoirs that I love are really brave and really go out there. So I, I hope I've done the same thing.